I think he just needs a hug. I'm not gonna hug him, I'm, I'm just saying. What's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Berserker. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So, right up front here, we have a very cool image there of Berserker. I dig that. Big Decepticon logo right there. In the background, you have a nice image there of a Berserker. Very cool looking. And of course, you have your two word bio for him raging destroyer that's all you need to know <laughs> on the side of the box we just have the the rest of the picture and transformers and the subcon logos and here's a deluxe class a class of deluxe a class of deluxe and a class of deluxe so deluxe so indeed and on the top you just have berserker and megatron and barricade on the bottom you have words and things on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots your cross cells and warning please don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you and that's basically it for the packaging so moving right along, here we have the Berserker. So here he is in his vehicle mode. And you can see the blue paint there for all the windows and the windshields going all the way around. You got a nice Decepticon symbol right there. The headlights are just painted in white. You got to got to represent that Chevy. They gotta make sure that's painted. Oh yeah, gotta make sure that's painted. Look, on the back too, gotta make sure that's painted. That's right, gotta represent the Chevy. <laughs> um, you got the rear tail lights heel here. <laughs> this is where my tongue stops working. Rear tail lights here, picked out in red. You have the light bars, which are just, you know, the molded plastic with some red paint on either side there. And that's pretty much it on the bottom here. Kind of see how things work out. He does have a little bit of visible head syndrome. Hi, how you doing? He's right there. He does roll. As rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And there you go. And for comparison, here he is with Dark of the Moon crankcase. So you can see how they look together. A little bit smaller than crankcase. And, um... This one's vehicle mode does do some things that I like a bit better. I like that they actually have the transparent plastic here for the light bars and for the headlights, whereas on this version, it's just the molded plastic and they just painted white on the headlights. So, uh, you know, it, it does some things better. But there you have those two together. Here he is with his WaveMate barricade. Um, that, that doesn't look quite right. I think this is supposed to be bigger than the cop car, but okay, sure. And just for another comparison here, we have him with Titan's Return hot rod. Just so you can see how he scales with the Titan's Return figures. So you can see how that works out. Now he does include his weapons. He does have the little spiked club things that they had in Dark of the Moon. And they're just molded in this kind of brownish color plastic. I don't even know what color this is supposed to be. And they are made of that soft plastic and you can tell because it's kind of mine's came a little uh a little warped <laughs> a little warped out of the box, but you can fix that with a hair dryer. So you know I'll fix that up and straighten them out. And you can see a little bit of detail to them. All spiky. I actually <laughs> I clipped this spike by accident when I was cutting it out of the package. I, I, I nipped the spike. I, I nipped the spike. That was totally my fault. <laughs> oh, well. There you go. And you can't store these in the vehicle mode. You just turn them upside down. And you have these notches underneath right here. And you take this bit right here, this little handle bit, and that just slots in right there like that. And then the other one goes in the other way facing up and that goes like that and that's how the weapons store underneath the vehicle come out. Very nice. Doesn't you know impede the rolling in any way shape or form but yeah and that is pretty much it for his vehicle mode so let's get down to transformation shall we let's so we will just remove the weapons put them off to the side and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take this whole front section here and you want to untab it, bring that down, 
and you want to come here to these side panels and just untub them. And these do hold in quite securely. Come on, there we go. And these tab in in two places. You have a tab right there that goes in right there and a tab right there that goes in right there. So just undo those, bring those to the back, untub, bring that to the back. And then you're gonna take this whole section here, lift that up, bring that back, bring the windshield down flat like that. And then you're gonna to come to the back here. You're gonna untab these side sections here and then bring this whole assembly up. And once you've done that, you're gonna flip this section in, flip this section in, and there you go. And you're just gonna collapse this on. Wow, the tongue doesn't wanna to work today. You're gonna to collapse this down onto these two tabs. You got these two tabs right here that'll go into these little slots right there. So just line all that up, tab that in like that. And there you go. And at this point now, you're going to untab the legs from these panels right here. And there's a tab right here that goes in right here. And this tab right there just goes into this notch right there. Just untab that. Bring that leg down. Untab this one. Bring that leg down. Let me raise up a little bit here so I have some room to operate. There we go. So once you got the legs undone, you're just gonna take the whole body here and just bring it down. You can see this crotch section here. Just straighten that out. Just take this little butt plate here and just bring that up and all that'll just tuck in right there like that. And there you go. And for the legs, you just rotate out the thigh swivel. You just take the knee, bring that back, take the section of the leg here, bring that forward and Flip out a seal spur, and there you go. And this panel right here, you just kind of push this up a little bit here, and that helps it to sit flat. And there you have one leg all done. Second verse, much like the first. Just rotate, bring that back, bring that forward, flip that back. And again, if this panel isn't sitting totally flat, just kind of push that up a little bit, and that sits flat. And there you have the lower body. And now for the upper body, little arms anyway. You just bring the arms out and down. You take this little spike here and you just rotate this around. You can see there's this tab right here that goes into a little notch right there. It doesn't tab in all that securely. It's just a place for it to rest when you're going into the open mode. But you just undo that, bring that down, and you take the hand, flip that out, and this little panel right here, you just flip that up. And there you got that all done. Same thing on the other side, bring that down, around, well, I'm gonna do the spike first. Bring that around, bring the arm down, flip that out, bring that up. And there you go, and you can just kind of adjust his head. His head is on a hinge here, so you can kind of bring it down, leave it up, do whatever you want. But there you go, there you have Berserker in his robot mode and that looks quite good in my opinion i think he looks really really cool i dig it i dig it i dig it so let's get in close here on that noggin oh there's that noggin that noggin noggin that predator-esque noggin right there <laughs> very nicely done in my opinion though it's a nice molding you got the red in there for the eyes you do have some gunmetal gray up in here to kind of break things up as well as on the teeth which is nice got the dreads here which are made of a soft plastic it's got an x on his chest i don't know what, what that's all about but okay and you got some red there on the forearms some red on the knees and you got some of that like brownish paint there for his claws and you can see the back here where pretty much all the truck is. It's kind of collapsed on his back. I mean, he's a shell former, but I mean, look at his design. I mean, he pretty much has no choice but to be a shell former, you know? This design just does not lend itself to a practical transformation, unfortunately. But still, pretty cool in my opinion. Now, articulation-wise, he had is on a ball joint. Again, you have that post here. If you can see, there you go, that post you can Move the head up and down so you can have it sitting a little higher up. Have it sitting down if you want to. It can rotate. It can rotate like that anyway uh, if you want. It does get a little bit of side-to-side -side movement. 
right there. These shoulders are on a ball joint, you can do a full 360, you can go in and out. You can also use the transformation joint if you want to. He does have a bicep swivel, a little over, slightly, slightly, slightly over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Um, nothing at the wrist except the transformation joint, if that serves any purpose for you. Uh, nothing at the waist, but due to transformation, he does have an ab crunch, uh, but there's no waist swivel. Uh, the hips are on the ball joint. They can go forward. That far, you can totally do the high kicks backward. That far, outward. That's all you're going to get before the wheels just start bumping into stuff. He does have a thigh swivel. He's got a knee joints there with 90 degrees of bend. And you have this joint as well, which only locks in two places. It locks in this place and locks in that place. So those are the only really two points of uh, positioning you can get with that lower part of the leg. And the heel spur, you know, you can kind of move that down and up a little bit if you want to. If it serves any purpose for you. And of course we can incorporate his weapons. You can hold them. Um, if you want to, you can store them on his back. You can just use these little hooks here and they just hook onto the back like that. If you want to store them in his robot mode, but of course, you know, you want him holding his weapons. So we'll just give him his little little spiky spiky club spear things, whatever these are supposed to be. <laughs> oh yeah, they painted his fingernails too. I didn't mention that. They painted his fingernails orange. That's just adorable. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Who's your manicurist? Who is your manicurist? Anyway. <laughs> uh, there he is. With his weapons. And that's pretty much it there now for comparison. Here he is with his wave mates, Barricade. You can see how they look together. Uh, here he is with Titan's Return Hot Rod. Just so you can see how he scales there with the Titan's Return stuff. So there you have that. And here he is with Dark of the Moon Crankcase. So you can see how they look together. And I'm kind of torn because for me, like, this figure does some things better than this figure, but this figure does some things better than this figure. So it's kind of... <laughs> Like, it's a mixed bag. I do like his robot mode overall a lot better. I think he looks way cooler than, than Crankcase. Um, but yeah, but I think the vehicle mode goes to goes to Crankcase. But um, yeah, I mean, still, two, two nicely done figures, either way, in my opinion. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Berserker there. I dig him. You know, like I said, he's a shell former, but I mean, judging... By the design here, I mean, he didn't really have much choice but to be a shell former. I mean, even this guy was a lot of shell forming, you know. Um, <laughs> this guy's a little bit more shell forming, but, you know, like I said, the design just doesn't really lend itself to a practical transformation. So it's, it's understandable, although I know people will still complain about it, but it is what it is. I do still quite like him. I think he's cool, so... There you go, so if you would like a Berserker or any other Transformers movie toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Transformers movie toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Transformers The Last Night. Deluxe Class Berserker, and this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, bomb in your face! Well, looks like we got a little Mexican standoff here. Weapons down! And we'll settle this the way a Mexican standoff should be settled.